What's up, beautiful PewTubers? It's your boy, Justin, with Cerebral Firearms, and today, I am glad to bring to you the PSA Jackal. So let's get into the ups, the downs, and the all-arounds of this beautiful, yet simplistic, masterpiece from Palmetto State Armory. Before we do that, let's get into X-Steel Targets. X-Steel is a great company making AR-500 and AR-550 steel targets from the United States at a phenomenal price. Code name Cerebro at checkout gets you 10% off your entire order. And check out my Patreon. Please support the channel. Like and subscribe, baby. Let me take you back to a simpler time. 2020 SHOT Show proved to be beautiful for two things in particular. One, the PSA Jackal. And two, the PSA MP5. One of those two things came to fruition. The PSA Jackal is a long-awaited gun by many, and while it seemed to have taken forever to make it to market, first being 3 in a blackout, and now 5.56, five, it's here, and it's time to get a feel for it. Finally up for sale, my buddy picked one up, and this is what we thought about it. Dude, the Jackal is probably my new favorite thing that you have. Yeah. Starting out with the PSA Jackal, we had a couple bumps along the road, unfortunately. We married the upper kit that came with the Jackal with a lower SBR that was previously on a 300 blackout build. Everything was mil spec on this lower build. Adhering to some previously heard advice about the gas block, we turned the gas all the way up, which fixed our failure to eject issues. With that said, we still had a couple of failure to feeds and a huge problem with the trigger resetting. Instead of shooting it some more, we took it home and completely decked it out with the actual trigger that came with the kit, and we lubed the upper. This time, as you can tell, we took it out with the Bryn 180 to see head-to-head -head how the PSA Jackal held up if all of the problems were fixed. This was my first time shooting a Bryn 180 and was thoroughly impressed, so the Jackal had something ahead of it. Now, in my opinion, the one thing that I can say without shooting the PSA Jackal is that it is absolutely stunning. The Jackal is a long stroke gas piston operating system with an 8620 front trunnion and 4340 carrier. It has a seven lug shot peen Carpenter 158 bolt and a monolithic 6105 receiver hard coat anodized. It comes with a 10 and a half inch 5.56 NATO nitride 4150 V chrome molly steel barrel with a twist rate of one in seven inch and a thread pitch of half by 28. With the mil spec trigger that was included in the kit installed and a nice amount of lubrication for the upper, the PSA Jackal performed flawlessly for us throughout the entire rest of the day. We were able to put about 200 rounds through it and had a great time with each round that was fired. With that said, I don't want to make this into a review per se of the PSA Jackal, yet instead maybe an overview of what I thought throughout the two weeks of test firing and how it felt after the problems were fixed. First off, I want to say that PSA customer service is probably next to none when it comes to trying to figure out what they can do to help the consumer who purchased their products feel satisfied with their purchase. With that said, one of my videos circulated and landed in front of the eyes of an engineer on the Jackal team. He reached out to me in DMs Jackal, and wanted to know if I could send it off to him to see if he could fix the issue. Luckily, we didn't go that route. We fixed it ourselves, but just that was kind of eye-opening in itself as to how dedicated PSA is and its employees to satisfy their customer base. I mean, just look how beautiful the Jackal is. Who would not want to have a lower-priced, piston-driven, AR-15 style weapon? Unfortunately, there was one more issue that arose during our testing of this firearm. The Jackal seemed to hate the 20 round Colt style magazines that we were feeding it. So we did right, what guys, anybody would do and tossed it to side. 
We fed it the Magpul, the Duramags, the Sure Feeds, the Amentus, and it loved everything other than the Colt style 20 rounders. So let's get into the good and the bad. The good, it's phenomenal. The weapon system, when it's working, is absolutely a pleasure to shoot. It's beautiful. It's a piston driven system, so it's going to shoot perfectly suppressed. It has four different options for the gas port. It's a monolithic upper, so that means everything is truly off the barrel. It's going to be an accurate machine. And with a 10 and a half inch barrel, this thing is going to be a small package. What's even better, it's bufferless. So that means a side folding stock, which means more concealability. Realistically, the Jackal is feature packed and absolutely phenomenal to shoot. It's truly become one of my favorite firearms to manipulate. With all of that said, there were some downfalls to this firearm. We had a heap of problems in the beginning trying to marry the upper kit to a already married SBR that was functional before we jackal, put baby. the upper to the Jackal. There seemed to be a little bit of a break-in period to the Jackal, which is totally understandable. But along with that comes the myriad of mil-spec parts that come with it. This includes an A2 style grip and a mil spec safety switch the non-reciprocating charging handle was definitely really loose and you can hear the jiggle when walking with the jackal these are some small issues that beyond a doubt were trumped by how awesome this gun shot for the rest of the weekend i was and still am a huge psa fan and stand behind this product a hundred percent I like it so much, I'm probably going to put an order in for an upper kit as soon as I can. The last downfall that I think the Jackal has is that the consumer base really thought that the price point was going to be a little lower than what it is. Coming in at about $800 for the upper kit and about $1,000 for the full firearm. Honestly, it's not that bad. Especially when you look at the other piston-driven system firearms and how huge that price point is. But with that comes feature-packed firearms. Regardless, the PSA Jackal is definitely a winner in my book. I think if you're on the fence about getting one of these, get the upper kit, throw it on a lower that you previously had, and have fun. But most of all, learn, train, evolve, and please think about donating to your local mental health charities and hit up my Patreon and some X Steel Targets, codename Cerebral, for 10% off. Get at it.